Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Gap Card and how's been everything? So today I'm going to be solving this engineering problem that entails some load acting on a beam. So I'm going to be solving this problem using a numerical analysis method. You know in all engineering problems, be it structures, be it machines, be it any forms of engineering, there are three methods of solving the problem. You can use analysis method, we can use experimental method, and we can use numerical method. So I'm going to be solving this question using numerical method. And there are various software to use to solve this problem. So I'm going to be using SolidWork to explain this behavior of stress analysis on this beam and how to um, and how you can able to get it. Now the question says goes a simply supported beam of length 14 meter carries point load of 8 kN, 10 kN and 7 kN respectively from its left end as shown in this figure here. Join the shear force and bending moment diagram. So this is an exam question. So I'm going to be solving it though the analytical method has been solved like analysis has been, has been carried out in this question. So I'm going to be using solid work to explain this structure for us which is more easier and faster. In this question here, which I've stated, we are going to have this, if we are to solve it like this, without using numerical method, I get in it, without using solid work, we are going to follow this process, all this process, obeying equilibrium laws, which state that the upward forces must be equal to the downward forces, so you find both the RA and the RB, and this is what you are going to get and your shear force diagram will be in this form like this. So we are going to be using solid work to prove this is correct and to show that using solid work it is more faster and easier. To design the project. So our first step is just to draw the beam. And from the question we are given from the question we are given that the total length of the beam is 14 meter. So the first thing you first do you change your your hair side units to meter. So it will help you once in, in the in the conversion. So either of you cracking your brain for converting from millimeter to meter or from centimeter to me, uh, meter, you will just, just go straight to the point, go straight to the base and change it. So we are going to be working on the front plane. And solve this problem. So from the question here, we know that it said the beam length is 14 meter. That means that from A to B is 14 meter. So the way you have to draw it is that you start drawing one line. You draw from here to this place, make it three. You cl click on your line again. You, you draw from this point to this point. You dimension it to be six. You draw from here to the other line here. You dimension it to be two and make sure all the line you ensure that all the lines are parallel parallel to the world to the origin if it is parallel to the origin you have a black line i get in it and you dimension your work so okay. the next thing you do is to design our beam so you go to this red mint you design our beam oh so you click on okay first i hope you are following then you come to structure and click on five. Now you select the part. You will notice that each part are not they are not the same line. They are drawn they are they are drawn di differently because it, it has a reason because we want to get each point, each force at each point. So that's why we have to draw the line separately. So just follow the steps. Don't ensure you don't draw the line 14 straight. Just draw three meters separately, draw six meters separately, draw two meters separately, and draw the other one three meters to make it what completely 14 meter, not millimeter. And if your unit in your solid work is 14 uh, is in millimeter, you just come to down to this place and change it to what meter. So after you've gotten this stuff, this is what we are after is very very small. But you can also zoom. You can zoom it, rotate the view, and zoom, zoom it. 
So this is what you will get. But we are going to change it because I'm going to edit it and edit it and change it, change it into a square shape. You alight everything and you delete. So after you delete, and then you can enjoy your own required shape you want. Enjoy your required shape you want. Ensure your mouse picked the shape you want, or less. That means it does not. It's not picking. If it's not picking, then that means your selection is wrong. So we are, I'm going to dimension my rectangle. With the required length I want. So I'll make this one 0 0.0.8 0 .8 meter, not millimeter. 0 0.8 meter. Those those for don't worry. It's going to be used back. And this one zero point eight meter. So after you've gotten this, just click on this blue icon that is a Z sketch. So so we are almost on the way. So this is what you will get on the regiment. You designed so the next thing is to do is to what we are to simulate so you click on your simulation now we want to achieve our main aim from the question we want to draw our, draw out our chain force diagram from this beam so the first thing i'll do is i will name it my own i can just name it um stress analysis and i'll click on okay so after that, the next thing I will have to do is to give this material or this my own structure I draw a material. So I will have to what? give it a material, like applying a material to the body. So I'm going to apply a material to the body because the material is also one of the factors that determine the stress because it has, each, for each material it has its own thermal conductivity and which are constant for different materials. For example, a lot of steel down conductivity is different from the one of copper, the one from aluminum. So I'm choosing a lot of steel for these materials for now. And you can also choose, try to play around and choose any other materials and shake what you are going to achieve. Please, we are, trying, we are going to make some parts to be fixed because from the, from the diagram here, you can see that these plates are fixed down. They are fixed at the other side and they are supported. They are supported at this edges here. But the horizontal side here of this A and B are assumed to be fixed. So we are going to also fix this side too. So click on the joint where you want to make it fit. We are to we are trying to reduce the degree of freedom of the beam. We can also try to enlarge the size so you'll be able to see it more clearly. After you fix that part, because you don't want it to move, then we apply a load or well, firstly try to change the view so you are able to see it more clearly we can see we can observe some points at this place this shows the joint of where each beam stopped with respect to their distance 
So now we have to apply load on this stuff. So this page shows us the different types of load under stress statics analysis because we are simulating a beam that is not moving. I get it. That's why it's called statics from the word statics in our normal physics. So under the statics, we have different types of um, external load acting on the of the body. We have force, we have torque, we have gravity, we have temperature. But well, due to our question here, we are solving with respect to force, kilonewton, right? So we are going to choose what? We are going to choose a force. So you click on the force. After you click on the force, it will bring out some commands for you that you want vertices or points from our earlier um, tutorial have explained what you call vertices and edge for you but we and we don't it's even more simpler in solid work if it is if we give you a word you will also put a diagram for you to locate what you call vertices land for this place vertices you should be this edge here this point in this place but we are not solving with respect to the vertices we are solving with respect to bond and the bond has a little circle in this place with respect to their direction so we click on this um the second icon there after i click on it so it's showing you joints so you want you show you that which type of joint you want to place your force on so i'll click on this first joint then which face which plane is it front plane you want it to be your top plane so but since you're working on front plane you click on front plane you click on front plane front plane then the si unit we are working with newton so and this one you click you come to the second icon here and you put 8000 not 8 because that's kilo newton kilo is 1000 so you put it there you move forward you move downward again we are now working with moment and the symbol setting you can change the color but i'll prepare i leave it like that but i'll edit the view so i will be able to see it more clearly then I'll click on OK. But it's showing me downward. But from the question, it is upward. Then I'll just reverse it and press OK. For others, to, like others, I ask 10, 7. So in that, your diagram, to, you will do the same thing the way I explained to you. You do this external load. You do this external load again. You click on force. The same procedure you click on force and you click on this second icon here that shows joint you click on the joint you want to work on and you click on the plane you are working on front plane from that as sketch you scroll down click on the second icon and put your ten thousand one two three you want it to be fast because it's up and you enlarge the view, increase the view, so you'll be able to see it very well. I'll put 300, and you are seeing it. So likewise, that's what to do for the uh, the third one, which is what, which is seven, right? Seven. You come to this place, external load, go to your force. Click on the joints. You see, we are getting the same diagram we drew for this place. We have three forces acting up downward. Likewise, what we have in our solid work, three forces acting downward, and we have two forces acting upward. So, which is also what we are also getting from this place. And the essence of this color is to differentiate the different type of forces acting on the beam. Are you getting? So it's not as if um we just put the color there it, it always has a meaning now the next thing to do is now we are we are going to run this beam and it's going to mesh it for us we're going to run this for us and see our results you can also take a deep breath to show if you are correct or not so it's trying to calculate the stress analysis for us using a numerical analysis is more more better and easier and faster in solving engineering problem because it reduces the time for solving it even this 
a little mistake to be made. So you are done with the shape. So this is what you are going to get. The stress analysis for this beam. You can get it from there. So it shows in solid work it has give us the displacement. You can also see the displacement of this of this beam. And you can also find the factor of safety to use to show that okay we the beam is deflated so we want it to be a, an equilibrium beam that the force acting upward and downward are equal if they are equal the beam will be stable so there's a factor of safety beam So you can see how solid work really explains the stuff for us easier and faster without no stress without an without no error Question is to find our what shear force diagram and the baby moment diagram. So how are we going to go about getting this shear force diagram and baby moment diagram? So you come to your results here, come to your results here and define beam diagram. Take a while. You want to know if we are correct if this result tallies with the one calculated analytically so we want it to happen like this then you click on ok wow so we can get we this is what we achieve and this is what we are going to solve with our notes in our notes looking at the one i showed you before you can also try it you can also try it Um, numerical analysis using solid work so we can see little difference when you are solving with your hand and using software to um, simulate the beam now from our calculated data here we have our um, reaction b to be 13.64 which is approximately 14 kilo newton that's 14,000 and using solid work here you can see comparing the result you can see it's the same thing and at our reaction a which is at this edge here you can see it is 10 approximately that's 11 and compared to this piece you also have minus 11.36 so you can see that they are both the same thing so thank you and please ensure you click on the bell and subscribe and also like the video and also comment on the video about what you gain and what you uh, you wish to be added to the video thank you very much for watching and once again this is try to this is just try to show you that um your question, your engineering problem can also be solved numerically using solid work. Thank you for watching and you are welcome.